everybody. I wanted to make a very quick video about crepuscular rays. So uh, you'll see many flat earthers talk about crepuscular rays, which are these kind of sunlight rays you see in the picture uh, streaming through the clouds. And as you can see, uh, it looks like those rays are diverging as they come towards us. Um, and if you trace those lines back, those sun rays, then according to flat earthers, they would meet at the sun and this proves that the sun is local. Hence, the, yeah, as far as this image is concerned, the sun is just above the clouds somewhere. Um, you'll find all, obviously, uh, also a lot of people talk about the, um, the fact that this is complete rubbish. These rays are not, in fact, um, diverging. They're parallel rays. The only reason they look like they're diverging is because of perspective. Because as the rays come towards us, they look like they're further apart because uh, we are closer to those rays than the rays further away at the top of the clouds. This is the same kind of uh, effect that you see uh, if you look at a set of railway tracks. Uh, the railway tracks you know are parallel, but when you, you see them look further apart beneath, between your feet, and as they go into the distance, they get closer and closer together. Again, purely due to perspective. And you can see that in this image as well. These rays over here, which are closest to us, uh, those rays appear to be diverging quite dramatically. As we look back here at the rays in the distance, you can see that those rays look far more parallel. They don't diverge nearly as much, showing that this is just literally an issue of perspective. Um, first of all, let's define what crepuscular means. It has nothing to do really with um, sun rays as such. Um, crepuscular purely means something around relating to twilight. Um, and in zoology of an animal that appears uh, uh, active during twilight hours. Uh, flat earthers have hijacked this term crepuscular for use um, exclusively for these type of rays. Um, but it's only because you tend to see these rays around the early hours of the morning and uh, at twilight um, at dusk time because the sun is low in the sky. Now it stands to reason that if the rays are diverging, the sun rays were diverging, as flat earthers claim, that shadows would also diverge when viewed from above. Well, let's take a look. These, um, this picture of some uh, giraffes with a, a, an obvious low sun, long shadows, and those, uh, those giraffe shadows certainly don't appear to be diverging. They look parallel to each other. We can see the same with buildings. If we look at these images of buildings, then again, these are long shadows cast by the buildings. If the sun was local, then these shadows would be splaying out from each other, and diverging from each other. You can see they're not. They're pretty much perfectly parallel um, across, the, uh, across the surface of the uh, water or parkland, wherever that is. Same here, you can see the, the skyscrapers. And again, the shadows are parallel to each other showing that the sun's rays are striking them in a parallel fashion. But this is the, the image that I really want to talk about. This is the final proof that I'm going to, I'm going to show you. This is a picture I took this morning in my bedroom uh, with the sun streaming through the curtains. And if you took a flat earther's claim at face value of tracing these rays back, then you'd see that those rays would meet a few feet outside my bedroom window. Now I opened my curtains and I checked, and the sun certainly wasn't a few feet outside my bedroom window. So I think this proves beyond anything else that this view of uh, diverging rays is purely down to perspective. It's not because the rays are diverging, it's not because the sun is local, it's just the position you are in relation to the rays. That's it, really quick video. Thanks a lot and see you next time.